some social media networks such or platforms such as uh, TikTok. I think they call it Douyin in in China. They they have allowed Chinese uh, people who are considering migrating from South America to North America and specifically the United States. They get a sense of how these people are going, how previous migrants are already their experiences, their what they are living, they, they are going through. But it it is really interesting to see how they face many challenges in the sense that they have to cross the Darien Gap, for example, traveling from Ecuador. First of all, traveling from Ecuador to Colombia is relatively easy. For any Spanish-speaking person, it's relatively easy. If you want to travel illegally, it's also super easy. You pay $10, $20 uh, to get someone to cross you to the, uh, the border. Yeah, and they left. They leave you right in Colombia, and then you have to travel by bus to uh, cities cr- uh, near the border. For example, with Panama, you travel, for example, uh, from the south of Colombia to Medellin, and then to the north of Colombia to cross the Darien Gap, which is uh, in the border between Panama and Colombia. 